Dallas, Texas, and the Texas State Fair. A football setting unlike any other. The Cotton Bowl cut in half. 50% crimson, 50% burnt orange. The Sooners and the Longhorns have played here since 1932. Today, they battle for the golden hat and bragging rights, and the outcome of this game can echo for a long time. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Sooners will kick this away and start us off. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Fresh set it down for the offense. First down. Trying to find room. It's blue. He moves the ball. the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, this is what I'd love to see from the defense is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Lofting it toward the left sideline. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Texas. Well, that is a dream start for the offense. But what an opening possession. You know, sometimes you just want to kind of get settled into a game. These guys didn't really wait at all. They had a script. They knew exactly how to attack the defense. It works out. See if they can convert the point after. PAT makes it 7 0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he'll lead the kickoff right there to start the 25. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. They're going to run it. The game moves the ball to the 34. Remember, last time they played, the Sooners pulled out a close one. That was a heartbreaker for the Longhorns. You know, when I think of this rivalry, Chris, it's one of those rivalries that just goes back and forth and back and forth. Oklahoma had that narrow win last time out. You know that has Texas' attention today. The Sooners looking to use the up-tempo offense here. That goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Caught in the backfield. It's Sacha. And he's tackled for a loss after the he had the defense all over that one. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Back to throw. It's Hawkins. 
QB to the tight end for a completion. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And now the handoff. He's brought down out at the 46. Nice solid run here by this bat. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. No huddle here for the offense. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. Hoping for another chapter in this tremendous rivalry for the been playing since 1900. Yeah, that's really what makes college football what it is. And I think all the concern with the realignment was we would potentially lose games like this. It's great to see Texas and OU still be playing for many years to come. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. It's a good job by the defense here on this third down, and now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. Kick is away. Excellent directional punt headed toward the sideline. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. They'll run it here. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller and allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set. It's second down. Back's got it again. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They don't block the defensive end. who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Hands off to the left. Breaks loose at the 40. He has first down yardage at the 46. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium, a lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution and they pick up the first down. Movement at the second level of the defense now. The Longhorns come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Handoff from the shotgun. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. What's cool about the battle for the golden hat is that it's a wearable trophy. You see the winning side, they went, grab that hat, Kirk, and they take a picture that lasts a lifetime. And Chris, think about it over the years, all the different folks that have been able to have a chance to put that hat on. Charlie Strong, of course, when Texas had a big win. Baker Mayfield, Vince Young, and it goes back and forth. And you're right, today, whoever wins this game, they're going to be quick to get that hat on. He pulls in the catch. Explosive play, and the offense will set up now inside the 30-yard line. There's a lot of play here by this receiver for a big game for Texas. And you think back over the years with Texas going back decades, I always think about running backs and, of course, quarterbacks. But there have been some receivers, Roy Williams and Devin Duvernay, guys like that. There have been others. But, man, plays like this, this is what you love to see and try to creating that new legacy for Texas of having elite receivers. And that run produces a decent game. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. What's the play call here on second down for this offense?
Backs lined up on either side of the quarterback. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Caught by the back behind the line of scrimmage. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. Longhorn starting a new series here on first and ten. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Bolden. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. This defense has got to do a better job in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, and this offense could have 50 on you by the end of this game. Longhorns looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Heading for the goal line, and now the ball's knocked loose. And the defense jumps on the football. Across midfield. At the 30 now. At the 10 now. Touchdown, Oklahoma. On the scoop and score. And the defense gets involved, scoring a touchdown to suddenly tie this football game. Just getting a couple turnovers from your defense is really all you can expect. But to be able to get six points from them in addition is above and beyond. They get their six points, and now they're really thinking about winning this game. Extra point try coming now. And it's good. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. The Longhorns offense takes the field. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. Second down after that previous play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The Longhorns pick up enough yardage for a first down. Look, I realize on any play call that is properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Well, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. To throw, it's Manning. He'll take a deep shot here. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Whoa, you're talking about a big hit there? I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. Longhorns will line up to punt it away. 
With the return, it's Burks. And the returner will be brought down. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. Last drive stalled before to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And he breaks loose down the left side. It's a foot race. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT puts him in front by seven. There's a kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last time, they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? On first down, it's play action. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it. A lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands... Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Important second down play coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as a quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come out to the quarterback and come up with that sack. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And he's looking to make a big play downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. They're not going to get him. He's home. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, a touchdown to a wide open move. What in the world was going on in the defensive side of that play? What was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. And there's the point after. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Sooners' offense is back out on the field. It was a one-play touchdown drive through the air last time. The defense makes some adjustments. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit, the swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Looking to pass, it's Hawkins. Short connection to the tight end here. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. 
The Sooners looking to run some tempo here. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, I love this option call, but the quarterback, I think he's just trying to make a play that wasn't there. Sometimes on this option play, you just got to eat it. It's just not there. The execution's not there. The defense plays it well. You got to tip your cap. Here, he tries to make a play that's not there, and the result is a loss of yardage. No kick it away here. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Running out of time in the pocket. Able to throw it away. He felt the heavy pressure, took a hit, but got rid of the football. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. And he lofts it toward the sideline. Trying to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. Boy, that was beautiful. Man, this defensive back, he's putting on a clinic today on how to defend against the deep ball and man coverage without committing a penalty. I'm sure the secondary coach is very proud of that execution. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And now the defense decides to spend the timeout to regroup a bit. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Kind of fine line here, Chris, for me when it comes to throwing the screen pass. You don't want to throw it too early, obviously, and the defense reacts quickly and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late and potentially get sacked. Got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. To the air, it's Hawkins. There's a screen pass to the running back. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. And the junior able to get home with the sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. The Sooners bring their punt team onto the field. The punt will bounce and head out of bounds. That's right near the goal line. Perfect execution. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Here comes the handoff. Tackle made after just a short game. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Longhorns will kick this away to start the second half. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Play action here on first down. Fires it to the wide out. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. Good enough for a fresh set of downs. They'll spot the ball to 40. A 
Another Oklahoma receiver making a big-time play for this offense. Man, it just seems like over the years, so many big-time dynamic receivers have come to Norman. Integral piece of this offense, and it gets you the yards you need. To throw, it's Hawkins. Contact as he threw it. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. That play makes it second and ten. It's a quarterback keeper. Has the first down still on the move. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. And the Sooners will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Takes the handoff on the counter play. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Well, throughout this game, they've shown a number of their base run plays in the first half. So it's good to mix in the counter here in the second half, just in case the defense is starting to over-pursue. Keep an eye on if they pull that play again, maybe later in this game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Oh, it's a reverse. And he'll get the first time yards before they finally bring him down. The Sooners come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. An inside give now from the shotgun. Finding some room with the 25. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. The Sooners are going to cash in this red zone trip. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Nice grab. It's Anderson. They get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Well within cool goal range now, but they're hoping for more as they line up here on third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Pass is incomplete, but... A penalty marker on the play that should result in a first down. And the Sooners looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together, they stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. The Sooners come to the line to run the hurry up. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal, and if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap and try to overpower that defensive front. He moves the ball to the one. Third down and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Touchdown, Oklahoma. will take the lead in the second half. A 
It's an old school leap, just up and over the defense into the end zone. Now that running back needs to find a picture of that touchdown up into the air. He can frame that. That's a nice score to remember. Here comes the point after attempt. PAT makes it a seven point lead. Pickoff team is on the field to move this one away. He'll just take a knee. The drive will start at the 25-yard line. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance in a really nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Dropping back, it's Manning. And he never had a chance tackled in the backfield. Chris, the timing of this screen pass just seemed to be off. The defense almost waiting for the ball to be thrown. He had nowhere to go by the time he caught it. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. Send the back in motion. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The Longhorns will bring their punt team on the field now. Running it back, it's Burks. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with, defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Play action fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Grab down the middle, it's Burks. Brought down quickly, but a big game through the air. Ball moves to the 45. But when they're throwing the football like this, it is really hard to defend this offense because of the timing of the quarterback with his wide receivers. Another good example of it there for the first down makes me harken back to guys like Sam Bradford and Jason White, their Heisman campaigns and the accuracy that they threw the football with. Great example of that right here by this OU quarterback. And he's wrapped up short of the marker there as the time runs down here in the third quarter. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Takes the handoff. It's Sawchuk. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, here we go, Chris. One of the biggest plays of the game. Third down and long with the lead late in the game. Clock is running. I think this is the time you call one of your favorite plays on this third down. At the same time, be very mindful. You cannot turn the football over. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Chris, I just don't know about this call. I like the aggressive approach, but at this point, late in the game, playing with the lead, third down and long, maybe you run the ball. You know, you work that clock. You continue to think about the big picture. Now you're facing fourth down and long, and I think you got to punt it away and hope the defense can secure a victory. And he punts it out of bounds, so no return. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They're coming off a quick three and out, so looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. The 
they don't make the connection, that one is incomplete. Well, it's not going to show up in the stat sheet, but the offensive line did everything in their power to give the quarterback time. Ultimately, the play just didn't work out. Incompletion sets up a second down. The back's got it on a counter. And he's brought down after a short game does not make the first down yardage. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. That's a big gain across midfield all the way to the opponent's 35. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Keeping it on the ground here. And they'll force him out of bounds after a short run. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Second down after that run on the previous play. Receiver in motion now. Back to throw. It's Manning. Looking for the wideout. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. So often we get caught up in the quarterback and the wide receivers and the skill in this game. This is another example of a nice job by the offensive line, giving the quarterback ample amount of time to be able to evaluate the defense and make a good throw. Good job up front by the big guys. Going to run it. It's blue. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running down hill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He, he just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Launching one to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Oh, Chris, the quarterback and the receiver just not quite on the same page there on that third down and long. But at this point in the game, you got to consider going for this. They need a touchdown. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. And that kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. The Turner trying to create good field position. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Sooners offense is back out on the field. Suddenly, this is a tighter game. You'd love to build a drive, choose some clock. How aggressive will they get with the play call? Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember the ball is inbounds and the clock keeps moving here late in the game and you're trailing. As a defense, you gotta start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You got all three to use. At what point are you gonna start putting those into play? 
the Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. Keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, this is a huge third down coming up here, and here's where that chess match comes to head. And for the defense, they desperately need to make a play if they believe they have any chance of coming back to win this game. Third down here, time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Important play right here. Close game, fourth quarter, third and long. Ball handed off. Solid game there. Moves the ball up to the 32. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the Sooners begin a new series here, first and ten. Ball handed to the running back. He's found some room at the 45. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Now, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy. Just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. The shotgun running play call. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. You know, they try to run the football here. And they're unable to get that first down. The clock does keep moving. The big question now is third down. What do you do? Keep it on the ground again or roll the dice, throw the football knowing an incompletion, the clock will stop. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. That moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Yeah, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right there picks up a first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. And it's a kneel down. 